I thank you for clarity. Yeah. I don't want to believe it, that you are not a schizophrenic working in some little frenzy. Reality is, whoa, it's real. <laughs> this whole thing is real. It's real. Something happened to you. He did for you what you could never do for yourself. He rolled up the stick and he worked salvation on his own behalf. He worked righteousness on his own behalf. You were not able to climb into the heavens. That's why he stepped down and he did it for you. Mm. He absolutely transformed you from one thing into another. He changed your dirty water into wine. You were not some mixture. So you have to have a little bit good, a little bit bad. You are all together lovely. You are one thing. He is absolutely, he is not shacked up with a schizophrenic bride. I'm telling you, you are the bride of Christ. You are all together glorious. You are all together lovely. It is the glorious church. And if you want to manifest it, you got to start believing it. you got to get around people that will speak it to you. you got to get it. you got to get in an atmosphere. Oh, speaking the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth. Because I'm telling you, there's a lot of charismatic voodoo. I mean, charismatic voodoo. Yeah. Paul had to deal with this crap all the time. Everywhere he went, he would preach the gospel, the glorious freedom of Jesus Christ, the reality that you've been crucified with him, and that now you're a new creation. And right behind it would come the Judaizers and say, yeah, and you need to do this. Oh, that's great, and you need to circumcise yourself. Oh, that's great, and you need to blow your shofar on seven mountains to make it blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's great, but you need a little bit of inner healing to make it work. Oh, that's great, but you need a little bit of this and that. Oh, that's great, but this and but that. I just call it Galatian bewitchment. Or we could say witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Did you know the religious spirit is not a good devil? <laughs> you may not even realize this, but it's not, it's not the white witch of the east. Just because the religious spirit shows up in church doesn't make it better than the rest of them, okay? It's not somehow better than murder and lust and pornography just because it shows up in church. I think that Daniel said that the abomination of desolation sets itself up in the temple. Is that where he likes to go? Yeah, I'm more of a temple. Right? And just because it's charismatic doesn't make it right. Did you know that the Pharisees were charismatic Jews? Sadducees didn't believe in angels, they didn't believe in the resurrection, they didn't believe in supernatural things. Pharisees should have There were Pharisee exorcists, there were Pharisees that did all kinds of supernatural things. And they're the ones that most nailed the picture of Does this make any sense to anybody? Any lights coming on right now? Do you wonder how I can stay drunk every day? I don't have another excuse. I didn't start this. I can't stop this. Something happened to me. Something happened to you. Do you can you realize it? Oh, your whole life is just a realization of what has already been done. See, when he said it's finished, he wasn't like Tony Robbins giving you a motivational speech. Oh, this will cheer him up so that they'll do harder work. It is finished means it is finished. You've been transformed. Oh, brother, I know one day I'll be holy. One day I'll be cleaned up. One day when I die. Didn't we address that last night, didn't we? Oh, so you're saying death is your salvation. The wages of sin is death. That's what's going to make you holy. One day when I get my new Lord. Your entrance into heaven is not when you die. Your entrance into heaven was 2,000 years ago when you died. He is the doorway to heaven. Talk about changing language. I'll tell you another voodoo language thing we need to change. Open the heavens, Lord. Check. He did that. Check. Why do you think I got on the cross? Check. What do you think that was all about? I rent the heavens and I came down. As a matter of fact, the veil of the heavens was torn when his body was torn. It hasn't closed back up. There is no separation between heaven and earth. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, the heavens were really open in that service the other day. When you hit that one riff on the guitar. <laughs> Oh, all we need is a good guitarist to open the heavens. Oh, Jesus didn't need to die. The guitarist could have done it. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness. 
I just give you guys a bewitch slap right now in Jesus' name. I just thank you. See, these Galatians, they have been bewitched. Somebody came and bewitched them. Charismatic bewitchment came in, and they were bewitched, and they thought they had to do extra stuff. Well, one day when I do my 40-day fast, then I'll be able to do this and that. We'll deal with some of those things in a minute. I don't want to bite off too much of you in one little session here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Paul said to the Galatians, was not Christ clearly portrayed as crucified in the why are you not going back on this? Oh, what do you think you need to add to this? See, the problem is we think that, you know, somebody will come in and they'll do some nice little hocus pocus miracles and stuff. And great stuff and valid miracles. That's great. And then they'll, but the thing is they'll be quick to give you formulas of how they got what they got. And I'm tell you, there are some nice miracles. I'm telling you, some nice, nice top tier miracles. Out there, right? But what they will not tell you at the end of the day is that they got what they got as a Gentile team. That doesn't sell very good on the book table. Formulas sell a lot better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me read this to you real quick. Can you write the name of this? Translation. The reason why I still love my wife is because I'm just I'm not perfect. I'm never I'm always gonna be a sinner, I'm always gonna struggle with the flesh. Maybe you should believe the gospel. Amen. You're not human anymore. Yeah, we're heavenly beings. Huh? Yeah. You are not human anymore. Yeah. You are not ambassadors anymore. A different world. You are not an Adamite. The second Adamite, Jesus. You're not an Adamite. <laughs> hey, hey Amen. A new line. This is pretty good news, actually. I yeah. would cheer up if I were here in this. Case. Yeah. Okay. You are not an Adamite anymore. Your whole life is not going through and having to train yourself into one thing to another. It's not about you know going through and breaking every curse and every generational sin. And I, I repented for my daddy's sin, and my great granddaddy's sin, and my great great grandpa's past program of smoking addiction, my great grandma's snuff chewing addiction. And you know what? You're going to have to take it all the way back to great 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 grandpappy Adam. 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 If yeah. you really want to get cleaned up, or you can believe that the last Adam yes. is so good. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, I know what the inner healing stuff teaches. Listen, I used to teach it for years. That's why I'm so free now. Dismantled every bit of it. Every time I led somebody in something, eventually you had to bring them to the point where they recognized that their old man was dead on the cross. What about we just recognize that the old man is dead on the cross? Yeah. You are something different. You are something new. Stop telling people, putting roadblocks in front of them like the Pharisees that never enter into the door, but they stand and block it for everybody else. Yes. The gospel is easy, especially so easy that a little child is it's a, it's, a, it's a message for sinners to change them into saints by no effort of their own. Okay, so you're not human anymore. Explain this. Verse 16, Therefore for the future we know no one simply as a man. Point of translation. Knox translation. And therefore, henceforward, we do not think of anybody in a merely human fashion. Even if we have known Christ simply as a man, yet we do so no longer. Taylor translation. Once I mistakenly thought of Christ this way, merely as a human being like myself. How differently I feel now. <laughs> Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new Yes. Whoever then is in Christ is a new creation. Therefore, if anyone is in union with Christ, he is a new being. Philip's translation, a new person altogether. If any man is in Christ, uh oh, what does this say? He is in a new world. New English Bible, there is a new world. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things 
or become new. The old life has disappeared. Everything has become new about it. Now, are you a new creation or is it a new world? What does this mean here exactly? What is this? Let's study this out for a second, okay? This word new, what this means. You guys tracking with me here? There's two words that Paul uses for new. Two primary words, okay? One of them is neos, new. And one of them is kainos, new. Say that. Kainos. Allegorial word. Kainos. Kainos. This is what neos means. Neos. Neos is new as in respect to time. Okay? If I've got an old pair of Nikes and I get a new pair of Nikes, just like the old ones, but they're just new in respect to time. They're not worn out. They don't have a, a, a mouth pocket at the bottom, right? They're, they're new Nikes, okay? Same as the old, but a new in, in terms of time, 